Dear Mariners, Welcome, to my channel The Sailing Beast. Please like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell icon for updates on upcoming videos. Question explains. Q2 What is Ship Oil Pollution Emergency Plan, SOPAPE? ANSH SOPAPE stands for Ship Oil Pollution Emergency Plan and as per the MAPOL 7378 requirement under Annex I, all ships with 400 GT and above must carry an oil prevention plan as per the norms and guidelines laid down by International Maritime Organization under MEPC, Marine Environmental Protection Committee, Act. The gross tonnage requirement for an oil tanker, according to SOPAPE, reduces to 150 GT as oil itself is a kind of cargo which doubles the risk of oil pollution. Master of the ship is the overall in charge of the SOPAPE, along with the chief officer as subordinate in charge for implementation of SOPAPE on board. SOPAPE also describes the plan for the master, officer and the crew of the ship regarding ways to tackle various oil spill scenarios that can occur on a ship for oil tankers. Action plan differs according to the cargo handling and cargo tanks containing huge quantities of oil. The essential SOPAPE requirements for a ship are 1. The ship oil pollution emergency plan must be written following the provisions of Regulation 37 of Annex I of MARPOL. 2. The approved plan guides the master and officers on board the ship concerning the steps to be taken when an oil pollution incident has occurred or a ship is at risk of 1. 3. It is a requirement under MEPC Circular No. 256 that the SOPAPE contains all the information and operational instructions related to the emergency procedure and SOPAPE equipment provided in the SOPAPE kit. 4. The plan must contain important telephone, telex numbers, names etc. of all the important contacts to be contacted in the event of an oil pollution. 5. A recognized authority has approved the SOPAPE and there are no changes or revisions made without the prior approval of the administration. 6. If there are any changes in the plan which is non-mandatory, it generally does not require approval from the administration. The owner and ship manager must update the appendices about the non-mandatory changes done in the plan. Contents of SOPAPE, Equipment List SOPAPE contains the following things. The action plan contains the duty of each crew member at the time of the spill, including emergency muster and actions. SOPAPE contains the general information about the ship and the owner of the ship etc. Steps and procedure to contain the discharge of oil into the sea using SOPAPE equipment. It contains the inventory of the SOPAPE material provided for pollution prevention such as oil absorbent pads, sawdust bags, booms etc. On-board reporting procedure and requirement in case of an oil spill is described. Authorities to contact and reporting requirements in case of an oil spill are listed in SOPAPE. Authorities like Port State Control, Oil Cleanup Team etc. are to be notified. Authorities to contact and reporting requirements in case of an oil spill are listed in SOPAPE. Authorities like Port State Control, Oil Cleanup Team etc. are to be notified. SOPAPE includes drawing of various fuel lines, along with other oil lines on board vessel with the positioning of vents, save all trays etc. The general arrangement of the ship is also listed in SOPAPE, which includes the location of all the oil tanks with capacity, content etc. The location of the SOPAPE locker and contents of the locker with a list of inventory. Guidance to keep the records of the pollution incident, for liability compensation and insurance purpose. Material for reference from essential organizations, guidelines issued by ICS, OSHIMF, SIGTO, Intertanko, etc. Procedures for testing various plan described in the SUPAPE. Procedure to maintain the record as required by the authorities. Details of when and how to review the plan. General duties of ship's crew under SUPAPE. Master. He or she is overall in charge of any incident related to the oil spill and should informing the authorities about it. He or she needs to ensure all crew members are complying with the plan and records are maintained for the incident. Chief Engineer, he or she will be the in charge of the bunkering operation and will instruct the subordinates to prepare SOPAPE kit prior to any oil-related operation, sludge transfer, lube oil bunkering, 
fuel oil bunkering etc. Chief engineer should keep the master informed and updated on the situation, and the results from action taken to limit oil outflow. Chief officer, he or she will be the in charge of complete deck operation to prevent any oil spill or in the event of a spill. The chief officer must keep the master in the loop at all times and update the situation and action taken to stop or reduce an oil outflow.